Ms. Cassie Hicks, Director of Housing for the University of Southern Mississippi Institute for Disability Studies. Cassie has, uh, has been a, a housing advocate for over 20 years in the state of Mississippi. Recognizing that Mississippi is a majority rural state, she fostered relationships with rural partners like USDA's Dep De uh, Department of Rural Housing Services to allow her agency to provide grant funds to help residents obtain rural housing. This partnership has been instrumental with USDA underwriting over $24 million in loans to the agency Hicks oversees. In her role as Director of Housing, Ms. Hicks is responsible for administering the day-to-day -day operations of her agency's housing program, grant writing, program development, disseminating of program information at local, state, and national levels, and the supervision of staff working on federal and state-funded projects. As an advocate for housing and an advocate for inclusion for persons with disabilities, her compassion has been very impactful in assisting populations in having better living conditions and having a place to call their home in Mississippi. She has been with the agency for over 17 years and has served with many committees and boards, including uh, that include being a funding member, of, a founding member of HUD's Housing Counseling Federal Ad, uh, Advisory Committee, the Federal Home Loan Bank of Dallas Advisory Council. Her area of emphasis has been working with consumers seeking home ownership and homeless families seeking stable community housing to assist them to obtain safe, decent, and affordable housing and have a better quality of life. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Ms. Cassie Hitt. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I can get louder. I'm a home by education instructor. So today I'm so thankful to God and to Hack for this award and this recognition, this honor. Especially thanks for rearranging your schedule on today to get me here to accept these, this award. I promise you, I left home yesterday morning at 2.30 a.m. It was my intent to be here, but sometimes you just have to roll with the punches and let it go. And so I came in after one, so I missed that opportunity. So thanks again for this time right now. Um, I'm blessed to have supporting me today my husband, Ray, and my brother, Master Sergeant Tim Lawton, who lives in the National Harbor area of Maryland. So my work in affordable housing in Mississippi began almost 25 years ago when I came into the arena of banking as a CRA officer. And I realized in that area, I wanted to do more for my state. I was limited in the banking area there uh, in my locality. And so I came onto a program that they were just starting in many states. Um, Home of Your Own is the name of that alliance that many states began to bring forward to make sure persons with disabilities in their communities receive services that was out there. Awareness was an issue with many. Advocating for them to be able to do home ownership in the states was a problem for many. So this became a national initiative and we came on board under the Institute for Disability Studies to help bring that initiative to our state. It was a very rewarding time for us, but began to realize it also was a time for much advocacy. We had groups, agencies, I would hate to say also lenders that did not know or believe persons with disabilities could enter the arena of home ownership and live on their own independently. So we had some hills to climb, but we began to climb those hills and bring on partners to help us advocate in our state. Mississippi being a much rural state, almost three million in our population, 
we began to reach out to your USDA offices to say, you know, we have consumers that are calling us that's using your program. They need us to help them with this housing issue around rural housing for them. USDA came on in a big way in that direct program. And we actually, as he mentioned before, $24 million is what our consumers have utilized the USDA direct program. So we were glad they were on board as a big partner for our rural state. The Federal Home Loan Bank of Dallas affordable housing program that was out there for special needs population in the rural areas came on board as a partner. $3 million invested in home ownership through that initiative. Many more others came on board to advocate for rural housing in our state and we're much, much appreciative of them coming on board to be a part of what we were doing in our state. My impact I wanted to see was to touch as many of those counties in our 82 counties as possible. That was my impact, that was my vision. Not required by my funders that was funding us, but my vision. And so as of today, we have impacted 67 of our 82 counties with homeowners with disabilities that's living in homes of their own. As I take my seat before the bell rings on me, there's an old gospel song that we sang in our church. It says, may the work that I've done speak for me. May the service that I give speak for me. And may the life that I live speak for me. Today, in accepting this award, the Skip Jason's Award, I believe that the work, the progress, and the impact, and the service have spoken. In accepting this award, I pray that the memory and the legacy of Mr. Skip Jason was given justice through my nomination and selection. For the many supportive housing partners, especially the community development officer that believed in me for many, many years, and she nominated me for this award, I said thank you. To Hack Selection Committee, I said thank you. I'll forever be grateful. Let me just say, in being a part of this conference for the last day and a half, or well, I've had, you know, day, missed part of it yesterday, I see a vision that Hack has put out there that's a very important vision and a mission for all of our states. And I'm happy to see at the ham, David, that's pushing that effort forward. On yesterday, I gave him another title. And the title I gave you, David, was David, the Haster, the Haxter and his staff. To me, David is now David the Goliath Slayer. <laughs> Why Goliath Slayer, Cassie? because I see him at the task of slaying in the midst of those who's not at the table, who's not in the conversation about affordable housing in the rural communities. Good luck with that work, and we're here to support you. God bless.